YouTube has been one of the best platforms out there when it comes to some of the creative minds that have come onto the platform. Now, whether they actually get attraction in following or not, that's a whole nother story. Bill Wirtz has been no exception to this when he started his YouTube channel in 2012 and when he uploaded his first video in 2013. And he can play a lot of instruments. And a lot of websites and creators will try to basically say what genre he is or creates and honestly you can't really say what genre he creates because it's almost completely new in a sense so I chop down some trees then I build a small house and I just might be small enough to live in it then the rain came pouring down and it made some cool sounds and then I'll tell you what those sounds were most of his YouTube videos are known for his neon aesthetic that he adds to all of his videos his weird and interesting animations so a lot of the animation youtubers out there have some of the most in-depth animation when it comes to their channel where Bill Wirtz started making these cheesy animations that got extremely viral that a lot of people know and love which is really interesting for me to see because a lot of the animation community has just been getting better and better when it comes to their animations whereas he took a more older and different approach to the entire animation scene and became the most famous Bill Wirtz is not even new to the scene at all in fact he's actually been making videos since 2002 and he was actually first known for uploading short videos to Vine, where he actually started to gain a following in 2014. And so basically the older videos that he was making starting from 2002, he decided to basically snip into six seconds and upload them to Vine. And this is ultimately where his following started. And eventually, like most Vine stars, he transitioned to YouTube. And he was actually uploading to Vine every single day because he could just use his old videos that he already created and put them into Vine. And after that, just like all the old Viners, he then transitioned to YouTube. And then, interestingly enough, he actually won the 8th Shorty Awards. And so if you guys don't know what the Shorty Awards, basically, it's an annual show that recognizes people and organizations that produce real-time short content from Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and basically the rest of social medias. And when he won the award for the Shorty Awards, he went up to the stage and all he did was just say thank you and walked off the stage immediately. That's why we present a Shorty Award for the weird. And our finalists are... Amy Sedaris. Bill Wirtz. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. How to basic. And the award goes to Bill Wirtz. When the pimp's in the crib, mom, drop it like it's Thank you. And then in 2016, Bill uploaded the History of Japan, which was a nine minute video on YouTube that outlines Japan's history in a very short and interesting way that no other animation artist was ever doing at the time. Basically, he put his own unique style on the entire format. And instead of just making a serious video, he basically put in a lot of his own jokes and a lot of the community really loved it. And it basically went viral very fast. And I think that's what ultimately got him very big at the time was that he put his own spin on the entire format of his different you know quirky comedy on his own YouTube videos and then a week later after this was uploaded it garnered over 4 million views and then it also gained considerable attention from users on Tumblr and Reddit and this was when I personally found out about Bill Wirtz myself was when a Reddit user posted the same video and all of Reddit went crazy about the video and ever since then the video is now over 55 million views so after the history of Japan Wirtz uploaded a 20 minute follow-up which was the history of the entire world, I guess. This was uploaded on May 10th, 2017. This was even in more depth than the previous video, A History of Japan, and this actually took him over 11 months to produce. And it basically just touches on topics of natural history, civilization, spanning, from the Big Bang, and, and all the way up to the near future. And this also went viral after the release. And it even gained 3.2 million views the first day. And it actually became the most uploaded YouTube link in Reddit history. And currently the video sits over 86 million views. So after the history of the entire world, he then started making more of his music video writing type it. of style. After two months, I was still writing. Not making the video. I was still right. researching writing after right. two months, right, three right. months. Mm -hmm. And it's at 12 minutes. And it's like reading at 14. Yeah, it's just. You got to turn ads on, dude. So how long did it take you? total would be 11 months and so that brings us to today where his last video was titled i might quit which was posted in march 2019 this video currently has over 5 million views so currently it's been over a year since he even uploaded this so most of the fans are not really sure whether he quit or not or whether
whether he's going to make something even bigger or better than history of the entire world some of his fans are actually speculating that he might be making the history of the entire universe which if his history of the entire world video took over 11 months to create which this might actually be true then because it's been over a year since he's uploaded currently he's still making over 8 million views a month with over 40,000 subscribers every month and he still has a strong patreon following of over 500 and if you go to his twitter page the last thing he ever posted was in june 2019 so you might be thinking that he fell off completely and entirely well that's actually not the case because if you go to his website right now and if you go to the page where it's just titled questions then you can find that he's still answering questions from even yesterday as of this video that was posted so basically you can just type in a question and ask it and he will actually answer or he will already have a pre-made answer on the page and if you go to his subreddit his fans are still there speculating what he's going to be creating next which like i said earlier they're thinking that he's creating the history of the entire universe now either that happened or he just completely burnt out entirely because of the amount of time that was needed to create a video i'm not really too sure about that because he's still answering questions on his website I'm thinking that he's going to come back and make a video within a year at least so that's really who bill wirtz is and what happened to him and where he is now so we're not entirely sure and you can't really find anything on the internet or any interview currently so we're not really sure when he's going to come back but we're pretty sure that when he comes back there's going to be a massive video just like the history of japan and the history of the world and the hidden meaning is that i'm the um i'm uh, the devil illuminati 666 uh please vote for me Alright guys, so that's actually all I have for today, so I want to thank you so much for watching. See you guys later.